Hi children, I am Surangi Pereira from the Department of Education, Central Province. So, how are you all today? I think you all are fine, but I feel little bit of upset today because I lost my watch. So, what can I do for this? Please give me a suggestion. Thank you. I can write a lost notice. After all, what is a notice? A notice is a displayed sheet to announce a message and information to a specific set of people, which can be put up on a display board or sometimes in newspapers. Notices differ from one to one according to the purpose of writing. So, the purpose of a lost notice is requesting or informing others to submit the lost object if found. So, look at the lost notice I have prepared. Let's read it together. Sumana Vidyalaya Kumara Street Candy Notice Lost I have lost my wristwatch on last Friday during the lunch break in the playground. It is gold in color. It has a metal body and also there is a gold metal strap. If anyone found it, please hand over to the office or undersign. A good treat is prom promised. 3rd November 2020, Parami Herat, Grade 11. Okay children. Let's try to identify the key points of this lost notice. Sumana Vidyalaya Kumara Street Candy. It is the name of the organization. The word notice should be there. Lost is the title. I have lost my wristwatch on last Friday is the beginning of the notice. It is gold in color, it has metal body and also there is a gold metal strap. What is it? Yes, it is the description of the item. Please hand over to the office or undersign. Is the further action to be done if anyone found it? And finally, a good treat is promised is the complimentary sentence. So, all together we can write... We can say that it is the body of the notice. Under the body, we have to sign. We have to put the date and we have to sign. Name and the designation of the person who signed the, write the notice. Okay. Good. Let's try to create a mind map for ease, to easy remembrance of the format of the lost notice. What should come first? Name and address of the organization. Next, the word notice. After that, topic should be there. What should come next? The body. Can you remember the parts of the body? The first one is the beginning. It addresses to the question word what. Next, date, time, and when you should mention it answered the question when and where after that we have to write the description of the item which answered the question how does it look after that further action to be taken should mention it talks about whom to contact finally complimentary clause should be mentioned that talks about what will get in return now you can see when you write a complete body you must address or you must give answers to all these WH questions. After the body you have to write the date and you have to sign, put the signature and the designation. Okay, now let's focus our attention some of the sample utterances we can use for each key point we identified 
in our mind map. Let's see. Name of the organization, there's no problem because it depends. If you write your lost notice regarding the personal matter, you can mention your home address. To be, for the beginning, these are the example sentences. I lost my watch or in passive way, a watch was lost. To mention the date, you must use the preposition on before the word on last Monday or on 7th November 2020. To mention the time, you can use the preposition during. Example, during the interval, during the playtime. To talk about the place, you have to use the preposition in or near. Examples, near the playground, near the, in the playground, near the canteen. So, how can we describe the object? These are some of the example sentences. It is a small or it is fashionable. Then the model, it is a titan watch. To tell about the color, it is silver in color. To talk how does it, what does it has? It has a metal body. To talk about the content, the singular form, there was a golden strap. To talk about the content, the plural form, there were many silver particles. Now the further action to be taken. You can use these utterances. The one who finds kindly return to the undersigned. Or anyone happens to find it is requested to hand over or submit to the undersigned or to parami in grade 11. If not, if anyone found it, please contact undersign. Finally, these are the sum of the examples you can use as the complementary sentences. I, I will really appreciate him or her. A suitable award is promised. You will be rewarded with a good treat. The person who returns it will be duly rewarded. Okay, children. Now, let's try to do a task. I think you have already got this book. Self-Learning and Assessing Kit Practice Papers Published by the English and Foreign Languages Branch Department of Education, Central Province. I have selected a task from here. Task 6 in on page 80. Let's read the activity. You lost your pencil case in the school library. Write a notice to display in the school notice board. Use about 40 to 50 words. Include a description of the purse, the date it was lost, the content, where it should be returned to if found. Let's try to match the format of the mind map and the language utterances we learned with this task. Your pencil case gives the answers to the WH question what? In the school library, give the answers to the question where? Then remember the language utterances in describing the object. How does it look? and give the exact date when it was lost and also talk, tell us whom to contact if you find the pencil case. Now, this is the model answer I have written. Let's look at that. The name of the organization. Notice the topic, the beginning of the notice, the description of the object, further action to be done, complementary clause, date and the signature. This is a one way of writing. Let's try it in another way using other 
utterances and following the same format. Model answer 2. Name of the organization. Notice the title is in another way. This is the beginning of the notice but it is written in the passive form. The description of the purse. What to do? Further actions. The complementary clause, date and the signature. Accordingly, you can use the mind map, the format of the mind map and the language utterances you used in different context in practicing the writing notices. Further, I like to get your attention how you are given marks for your writing. Normally, you will get this question under question number 6 in paper 1 in the GCE O-level paper. You, 5 marks are allocated for that, 2 for content and 3 for languages. This is how you are given marks for the content. And this is how the marks are distributed for language. If you follow the correct format in the mind map and the suitable utterances we, need, we learned, I am sure you can score the maximum and the total mark. Good luck. Go for it. And thank you very much. We will meet with another lesson. Have a nice day.